Well, um, speaking of company, uh, yeah, you uh, uh, convenient segue. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get to it. Right. Um. So I went to a summer camp. Right, guys. Y'all, y'all Literally. know that. Literally. Yeah, it was, it was a little literal camp. It, there was a cult there too, like an actual fucking cult. Like, um, how curious. They were it's, pretty it's, curious, not gonna lie. Yeah, it was, it was like the LDS Mormon camp. Was there was no. their curiosity one of the aspects of the cult? You know, one could say it was a cult of the curious, for sure. That's a uh, great name for the cult, the cult of the curious. I'm gonna look that up right now. Definitely, you guys definitely should. Everyone should look up the cult of the curious. Uh, any- Enjoy the free <laughs> shout out, Dan. <laughs> I don't think Dan will listen. To <laughs> maybe maybe, maybe we can convince them. Just be like, hey, Dan, um, you want to hear me talk about my shroom trip that you saw me freak out on? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of shaggy. I'm not going to say that actually that's speculation upon my part. Not a missable. No, he doesn't listen to our show. He just listens to yours every once in a while. No, well, no, no. He, I don't think he's actually listened to historical quarrels. Um, he only brought it up because uh, I went and uh, tagged Teal Swan's house with his stickers for his show. Oh, let me just write down your hat. Wait, doesn't that cult live right? In Park City. After. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that was that was the only reason. Um I always knew that those people were weird up there. <laughs> yeah, no, they did. they're hundred percent weird. Um, no. Yeah, no, fucking uh, I I mean like it'd be cool if you did. It'd be nice to get pointers for like um from someone who's been doing the uh, podcasting for a while, like yeah. to that level. Well, and, maybe um, if you weren't doing drugs, you could have asked him for advice. Oh, a hundred percent. Well, he was so busy too during that whole time. Like, I kind of felt bad. He just seemed exhausted, honestly. <laughs> Most of yeah, the, like, at the end of the day, I was like, "Holy shit! How are you able to handle this?" That's so many. Oh, well, he has a huge fan base, and the fan base is kind of intense about a lot of stuff. Um, the community is super nice, and like they're all really cool, uh, which yeah. is why like I'm a big fan of it. I really like the community that he's built. I, I think but it's he, super dope. But they all love peanut butter. butter. <laughs> They do. They do all love peanut butter butter. It's, Yo, this uh, sounds like somebody I need to do it. Yeah, no, 100%. You definitely should be joining it, Brandon. <laughs> yeah. um, anyways. Bow uh, down to Nimrod. Yeah. Hail Nimrod. Uh, hail Lucifina. There's hail a lot of hail. There's a lot of going on. We, hail um, we, there was a rave last night, and that's where I took shrooms for the first time. Yo. You seem so a little more. <laughs> no, should I? Should I? Do you want me to give give you like the full rundown of like what I did? Is that no, no? Tell us your experience. You only lose your virginity once. That's true. So uh, <laughs> about an hour in to taking the shrooms, um, I was I had I finally made it over to the rave, and I was in there, and I started like kind of freaking out a little bit. Right. I, yeah, because I was like, with, I did. I there. I I was. Uh, I was at the summer camp with people I knew. I was like, where the fuck are they? I need to find my people that I know. Right, <laughs> bro. Yeah. That's um, the people that you went with, you ain't finding them if they do not want to be found. Uh, <laughs> well, no, no, no. Well, well, one of them was asleep, and then the other one uh, was. Um, Yeah, beep. Uh, anyways, allegedly, allegedly. Uh, yeah, no, I'll beep this out. I'll beep it out. Anyways, this bowling court. Yes, we don't want to dox her. She is a very nice lady. No, she's actually very nice. She's uh, very cool. She's a bro, dude. Like total bro. She's a bro. She's a bro. <laughs> Super bro. It was cool. Um, fucking. Anyways, so I'm in there. I'm starting to freak out. Uh, just cause like, I can't see anybody that I know. And I'm like, I, uh, <laughs> I felt like I was going to like something bad was going to happen. So like, I just ran out of there real quick. <laughs> like, well, yeah, because your virgin voyage was done without a sitter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, and so I ran like, over. Oh, shit, I could have told you that. Um, yeah, it was. 
so the, I ran I ran over to where I thought um, the other two people I was looking like that were with me that I was looking for, and um, I thought they were in, in in the room that we were all hanging out in Saturday night uh, because that's where they said they were getting their drugs. <laughs> Oh, so, yeah, right. Okay. Um, and so but I, the I problem I had, is, is they weren't, well, they didn't want the same ones that you did. No, 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 they did. They did, they did shrooms too. Everybody did shrooms that night. Like, I shit you not. Oh, and it, then when I got in there, um, they were like, yeah, don't worry, we're all high in shrooms too. And I was like, what the fuck? Why is everyone on shrooms? It's like, I, I need someone do. sober. I need someone sober. So Who's the trip sitter for this trip? Nah. No, I, I, I had quite a few. Enough. I need an adult. No, my trip sitter no, uh, was a guy named Gregory, who was really cool, <laughs> honestly, because like I, I was sitting in there for a while. Uh, Lindsay was talking with some people, and like they were trying to talk to me, keep me calm. Oh fuck, uh, Doug Mellard and like Flynn, uh, D- his wife Flynn, were so nice too to me. They were very kind. Uh, I just remember them thinking like, oh, they're kind of like really kind, like aunt and uncle vibe. <laughs> that was yeah. like my thought. What what color? What color were they under the shroomo vision? Oh, 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 kind of like their aura. It was kind of like a shiny, like, um, I, not like yellow, but like just like a soft light. Um, and then good. Greg That's was like good. a calming blue, like a, like a That's very chill good. blue. Blue is good. Blue is yeah. good. Um, and then everybody else didn't have like quite an aura. <laughs> but, um, and then, I remember going, I, cause I had, uh, while I was in there, I started like freaking out a little bit. And I was like, okay, I gotta go outside. And so I just like went outside real quick. Uh, and that's when Greg came and sat down by me and we talked politics and I thought I was way more intelligent than I, like I you actually am. Do. You always <laughs> know, but like yeah. on shrooms, I thought I was a fucking genius. <laughs> like, well, that's what your brain does. Well, it sends problem, you into overdrive. Like, the problem is, is like, you think you are, you think you are the smartest drunk who hides being drunk better than anyone has ever been drunk before. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're taking you to the ER at three in the morning because you oh, because I drink broken glass. glass. Yeah, that was scary. <laughs> oh um, so anyways, yeah, so that happened. Um, we talked for a while. Uh, that was really calming for even though it was politics, <laughs> which is really funny. No, no, it was because you did it while you were outside. When you do that sort of thing, it comes from nature. It wants you to observe and return to nature. Well, oh yeah, which like next time, I actually think I just kind of want to either sit outside, like not necessarily, well, actually probably alone for a little bit, and just like because I felt like something was trying to talk to me, and I kept like running away from it. Um, and like, I only realized that like after, after the fact, cause like when I, when I made it back to the rave and I was, I was just kind of standing outside the rave and like, it was calm and chill. I'd kind of pop my head in and it was cool for a minute. And then I come back out. Um, and then it's when I saw other people who were like, I finally found the people that I came with and everyone else was like, just really fucking gone. <laughs> Dude, they've all done this before, you know. Oh, but they did way more than me, and they were like, <laughs> yeah, they're like, it, and meanwhile, <laughs> I, oh, hello, oh, no, we're out. He's meeting his guide for the first time. Meanwhile, the other guys are like, hey, uh, uh we need to find size some orange juice, like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. No, it was um that was really cool. And then I was talking to one of the people that I came with who was also high and I was trying at one point I thought I was sober and <laughs> they kept telling me like no your eyes are like dilated like no you, there's no way you're sober and I was like no I'm I'm pretty like I was like I'm pretty sure I'm sober cuz like I no, felt No, no, no. You're not sober. Well, I felt <laughs> so clear in that moment like very yeah, no no it's clarity not sobriety I, the first time i felt like that too i was not and then that was an adventure for another day but go on yeah so anyways um and then uh, trying to talk to them they seem like they um were like hot in between like <laughs> going 
back to go to sleep, but they couldn't. Um, and then like going back and partying just until they were better, I guess, or like, right. yeah, you know, just not as down. high. Yeah. Um, and so after that, I decided to, you know, head back. And then as I was heading back, the woods started to get kind of, not like the woods, but like the path started to get kind of weird. And I remember getting lost for a little bit. And then I ended up like in the middle of the woods. Oh, and no. that's when I took those pictures and I sent it to you guys. Cause like I could yeah. see like the lake and stuff. And oh, cool. yeah, those are pretty. Yeah. It was like so yeah. pretty right there. And, and then I, um, now what do you think that represents? <laughs> do you want me to read? Uh, I'm going to read what <laughs> I, I said. You guys. I already read what you said. I, I know, but it. it was so fucking dumb after I read it. Cause like at, during the time I was like, this is, this is purposeful. Like this is meaningful. <laughs> like they need, my, they need to hear this. <laughs> my favorite thing, my favorite thing where you were like, at the end of typing it all out, you're like, I am a goddamn genius. <laughs> and I'm just reading that Chuck. Oh, he reads this in the morning. He's going to be. You, no, you. I thought I said, I thought I said, um, I just basically said nothing. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I, I feel like I kind of had some self-awareness. It wasn't anyways. Okay. <laughs> so what I sent them um, was, if there are concepts the universe does not intend to allow certain inhabitants to comprehend, why does free thought exist to think of the concept? Or is yeah. free thought something we just tell ourselves we have when in all reality we have, a, we have preconceptions granted to us by our environment and, and interactions which molded our existence and is the only thing that we can base our thoughts on? Meaning that true free thought and true creativity are just a myth, an impossibility that we supposed free thinkers and our bloated egos believe we are capable of. Which is so <laughs> so fucking stupid. There's substance to that, though. There a is. Little bit. There, there but is. the funniest part, but the funniest part is that the substance to it is a question he's been asking himself over <laughs> and over and over again for the last six years. <laughs> yeah, if 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 I'm bound to fate or if I'm able to choose essentially. Yeah. Um but and it sounds like, like you, yes you and no. Stayed, you huh? stayed like uh, there were a couple of nights that I've had where like someone will ask me a question and then I start answering their question and I'm talking nonstop for like 20 minutes. And I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. I can't even remember the question that she just asked me. And where I started. Yeah. And I'm like, Oh shit. I'm like, but like, I just keep talking. Cause I'm like, well, I still got more to say. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but for some reason I got something to say. <laughs> And yeah. I'm like, I, it's just like, man, man, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm just kind of here. Yeah, I, I will be throwing up later, but for now, <laughs> I will say, like, um, I kept being warned about, like, I was gonna feel nausea. I didn't really feel that, but I did get the burps and the yawning that you get, really, um, when you take it. Yeah, so when you take shrooms, you get like kind of burpy, and then like. I, right before it starts hitting like hard you start like yawning i never had that actually i, I, did, I, I, did I know what you mean up. i know what you mean about the burps because uh i know what you mean by the burps but i've never yawned actually uh, no no that is a lie i have gotten the yawning where like after you finish yawning it seems to intensify for a while yeah yeah, that. Yeah. And like it's yeah. about to like get hit kind of harder. Um, yeah. So I got that. And then, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyways. So, anyways, I got lost. <laughs> um, I sent you guys that. Um, and then I went, I started, like, I found a path um, and I, I finally made it back to my cabin I was going to sleep in. Um, but then I was like, oh, fuck, I need to pee. And I didn't want to wake up one of my uh, cabin mates who were, who were sleeping in the room. And I was I like, shit. 
tomorrows. Yeah. And so I was like, shit, I need to go find a porta potty. And so I got lost again. And then I eventually made it back onto the road, but the road looked really freaky because it was all dark. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so, my, like, my guy, you're a grown ass man in the middle of the woods and you just need to pee. <laughs> Dude, no, 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 no. See, but there's a there's like twelve hundred people there, and there's a bunch of cabins with like windows. So like, and it's kind of an indecent exposure. I mean, I know people were out there fucking. Like there was the orgy and shit that happened, so that was cool. And <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> um, I mean, I didn't get to join in, you know, nor yeah. you know should I. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, anyways, I was uh, going through the um the path the really dark path and yeah. i had it like i remember i kept like whispering to myself like you're on the right path you're okay you're on the right path you're you're okay <laughs> um and true. about like 20 seconds it, like as i was walking through muttering that to myself i saw someone in front of me they kept like looking back at me <laughs> like they started like speeding up like walking away and i wanted to i remember in my mind i'd be like I need, I need to let them know that I'm normal. Like, <laughs> okay. One, that's one, so ignore you. that too. That's the spirit voice that you were ignoring earlier. Yeah. Oh, so, so if you ever tell yourself, I need to tell them that you're normal, don't. Don't. <laughs> okay. Just don't. Just don't. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, but then I made it to the porta potty, and that was like such a big accomplishment for me at that time. Like I remember feeling that. I was like, I fucking did it. I made it. <laughs> like, yeah. The, the dopamine rush just makes you piss your pants. <laughs> no, 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 I got in there, I started peeing, and then the wall started kind of like breathing. <laughs> yeah, that's the best part. That's that the was best fucking part. weird. I think um, my favorite part of the whole high is the body high. It's like the body high is really cool. It's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I feel really good. Anyways, yeah. Uh, yeah. So after that, um, I remember just like saying out loud as I saw the walls breathing. I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" And then I heard some people like chuckle. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, no, the the usually the visual aspect is either the walls breathe or you start getting tracers. I don't think I got any tracers. Is tracers just like lingering images? Yes. No, it's uh, it's lights that are moving super fast so it leaves a line of light. Yeah. Uh, uh, I didn't get I any got, of those. I got a mix of both of those. I usually get a mix of both. But the, there's this one type of acid that I took, taps of acid, that was like an Aztec type of deal. And that was uh, something very different than shrooms. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, the, acid's crazy. Yeah, yeah you walk outside, the wind blows on you, and then you just come. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, I made it back, made it back to the cabin. Um, I couldn't really go to sleep, but I kept laying down and I just remember my body felt like so good. Like everything just felt like really good as I was laying down. I was like, yep, this is, this this is what I needed. Yeah. Like, you this find is... yourself kicking your legs or moving your hands and stuff as you laid down? I didn't want to. I was just like, I, I, like, I found the exact position my body wanted to be in and I was like, I need to stay like this. And then I kind of... There was like something reaching out to me as I was like closing my eyes and it like it felt like it wanted to talk to me, but I couldn't like I didn't know how to let it talk to me. And you so I fell asleep. You ignored your guide. You ignored your guide twice. I, fuck, I guess, man. So that I need to do shrooms again. So that way I can apologize to my guide. So remember, remember the rules. This is I am here. I am willingly in this state. I am here to accept the lessons that are to be taught. Yeah, see, and I, I didn't really know that. I just kind of was like, oh, this will be fun. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what it should be for your first time. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's fair. That's fair. So okay. I think I think the next time, yeah, whatever was reaching out to me, I, or like whatever, like my brain wanted to say to me, I, I feel yeah. like was important. Then I'm, I know I'm kind of like, 
I need to let that happen. Well, um, yeah, and, because now you have a better understanding of what to go into because it's something that you can't ever explain to somebody unless you've taken it. No, no <laughs> yeah. you don't understand if you if you haven't been in that state, you just don't understand. Yeah. yeah. It's, so. it's a big difference. Yeah. yeah so next time you do it, you'll you'll be prepared and you might be able to look into stuff more and like lean into whatever you want to or need to, you know? Yeah. Cause the, yeah. the first time it's, it's like a rush and it's a blur, but yeah. every time after that, you can slow yourself down more and more and just watch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, that's a good way to put it actually. Yeah. I like yeah, that. I was yeah, thinking like, about like every other weekend or something. I might like if I can get enough, I might try to do a trip. Don't don't too schedule much? it. Don't schedule it. Don't schedule it. Okay. Well, it, I feel it as specifically shrooms as a medicinal thing. See, the last time I've had them, it's been almost four or five years, and I really need to get some more. <laughs> yeah. Dude, let's just all take shrooms together one night. Let's just uh let's yeah, that and then like sick. talk to each other, just like stay on the phone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll just stay on the phone. We should. An episode it. of our podcast. Yes, we should record a whole. Dude, episode. yes, please. Yeah. That was fun. Be, I'm kind of down, and we need to video but, record it too. Hey, yes, so. we will. That'll be our first like I'm true gonna, video episode. Yes, that would be sick. I will. I will I'll put like fucking tapestries and shit inside the camera view and all that and make it look nice have some incense oh yeah that would be, be nice all right all right let's nice. do this man yeah let's do that that'd be fun <sighs> okay. i'm just jealous of you because you're within cuddling distance <laughs> to thickest hottest man aside from you too <laughs> and I and I guess his fiance is kind of cool and would make a good sitter. <laughs> oh, Wes, you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, oh, dude, they're getting married uh, this upcoming weekend. We're so excited. I know. I, I I was talking to Reagan and congratulating her, and then telling her that I wanted her to be my groomsman so that way Wesley could be a bridesmaid and he would have to wear a dress. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be yeah, fun, no, man. They're, they're good to talk to. Just, uh, they're, when it comes to hallucinogenics like mushrooms, they are more on the spiritual side. So they're yeah. probably going to recommend that you fast and uh, you you don't take it with anything and you just wait for your system to clear out and take it. You want to hear something crazy? The the days leading up to that, I was walking on average seven to nine miles a day. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. So I, um, my body was sore and exhausted and beat the fuck up by the time I took it. Oh, so, I yeah. see. Yeah. That was a good, good reset for you mentally and physically. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. That's peak right there. It's pretty dope. Not gonna lie. Have you ever tried DMT? No, I want I to. Want to. <laughs> I, I I want to, but uh, I'm not taking D. I'm not gonna take DMT to get high. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. do DMT the right way. So you gotta let it find you first. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh god, hundred <laughs> percent. Well, um, I think that ends it today for Hard Homies podcast. The the hardest of homies. Actually, we should probably give a disclaimer. Oh, hard yeah. homies and all aliases of including the hosts, guests, sponsors, etc. Do not. <laughs> I forgot how disclaimers go. Okay. This is not medical, <laughs> legal, nor. Financial action, financial. Yeah, there we go. Basically, don't sue us. Is what he's getting at. Yeah, well, like we're not experts, and you shouldn't take anything that we say as doctrine or law. Um, and we also, are- there is a anywhere from a fifty to a hundred percent chance that this is all <laughs> bullshit, and we just make up stories to entertain. Well, what about you? Can 
prove anything. <laughs> yeah. Bill Sybin doesn't show up in drug tests. <laughs> After the first two days. No, no, no. They actually can't because your body, um, I was reading up on it. Your body processes it as food. And so they oh. can't test it for that. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It's really cool. <laughs> or in don't parentheses. do drugs, kids, but definitely do drugs. Or, yeah. Well, don't get caught with drugs. Or in parentheses, <laughs> uh, the name will still be stereotypical, even though Hard Homies is a lot better. No, what are you talking about? It's it's always been Hard Homies. I don't even know what the fuck stereotypical oh, right. is. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, right. Have you been under Coma Brandle? It's always yeah, right. Have you been under Coma? Yeah, I forgot. Braden, this is Braden's coma right now. Yeah, this is his coma. This is his coma right now. So coma, coma. I keep saying coma. You guys are saying coma. After after <laughs> we're done, would you like to read me a bedtime story, the Kama Sutra? No. Like a virgin, your heart beats next, next to mine. Oh, my love, boy, my fear is fading fast. Been saving it all for you, cause only love can last. So fine, and you're mine. Yeah. Make me feel in loud out and in cold. Mm, a virgin, fresh for the very first time, like a virgin. Heart is. To man.
Mm. The end of time may feel. Yeah, you make me feel. I'm gonna smile. Like a virgin. For the very first time. Like a virgin. Next to mine, a virgin. Virgin. Happy. Happy. 